Hey guys, alright, I just want to do some tour, uh, tutorials on Terraria, teach you how to do things, so we'll start from the beginning. First thing you need to do is you need to build a house, and first thing you need to do to build a house is find some wood. So you find a tree like this, you get your axe, and you start chopping and chopping and chopping until it comes down. Collect all your wood, collect your acorns, save the acorns because you will need them to plant new trees because they don't just automatically grow. And you can do all the trees in the map and you will have nothing left. So if you don't replant, then they just will be gone. Um, after you get your wood, find some nice level ground or make some nice level ground. You can always use your pickaxe and just start freaking leveling stuff out if you want to. Um, so you go to your wood. You got two ways to aim. You got the regular bubble. And if you push your right stick down, it'll go to the crosshairs. Crosshairs are way easier for building. So first thing you do is you start from the ground up. Go as high as you can which is that high and you go across at least 12 across at least 12 or you can go longer depends on how long you want your house and then you come back down to the ground on this side the same way and then you can make them too thick three thick however thick you want it once you place a block you got to use a pickaxe to cut it back out so you want to go three high because that's as high as the door is so one two three make sure and there's your door um, after you cut out both sides you need to make a workbench to make a workbench press Y go to the left to your crafting go down and find a workbench make it use your crosshairs to place it on the ground get in front of the workbench that way you can use the workbench go down you need one chair and you need one door at least if not two doors depends on what you want but the house at least has to have one door so <clears throat> get your door you got to touch the ground or touch the ceiling to place it. If you put it in the middle, it will not work. So place one door, come over here, place your second door. And then you get your chair and you can place your chair. Now, whichever way your character is facing is the way that the chair will place. So even if I'm in front of the workbench like this and I want this chair right here, that's exactly how I have to look. If you're behind the bench on this side and you want to place a chair and face it that way, that's exactly what you have to do. You have to face that way. So once that's down, next thing you need to do is make some walls. So once again, get back in front of the workbench and I think scroll up. It'll say lava fall wall is what it always says on mine. Can't make it yet because you know the materials, but you can make a wood wall. So you just keep scrolling and scrolling to the right until you see the wood wall. It should be the only one that is lit up, like so. Um, for every one piece of wood, you make four pieces of wall. I think to make the wall for this, I needed um, about 80 wall. So right now I have like 76 wood so I have plenty of it so you craft 80 wall then you just get on your wall and start placing it and once you do that with the crosshairs you can get back off of it and he'll just start placing it like crazy with uh, if you get off the crosshairs and go back to the circle um, just be careful you'll figure it out it's not really that hard to do um, if you want to take some wall back off, however, you need to craft a hammer, which is in the tool section of crafting. So left bumper will move you through the big menus 
and then the right trigger, the triggers, I believe, will move you through the tabs and crafting. So go to the tools and hammer. Well, it's the first thing on my list at least. So, and of course, you got to make a wooden hammer because you don't have any copper, or silver, or iron, any of that. Um, so make yourself a wood hammer, and if you mess up anything, you can knock it back off with the hammer. Um, and last thing you need to make a valid house um, is torches. So you go back to the doors, workbenches, and torches. Scroll down. Now, if you can't make these, it's probably because you need gel. And gel comes from those little slime things you see plopping around everywhere. Where is a slime? So you gotta go find the slime. Do, do, do. Where's the slime? Now. Good lord, this is like the slimeless world. Ah, dang gummit. Now, you're not going to be able to move around as much as I can starting out because you can't fly like I can. I'm just trying to hurry up. There's a slime. I'm just trying to hurry up and find a slime for you. And then you just got to use your sword and try and kill it. And be careful because if you fall too far, you will die. You just turn to mush. So, let me get fine. Here's another slime. So, you just keep stabbing at him until he dies. Be careful, they kill you too, so. There you go, I got some uh, gel, yay. Ah, dang gum, it just turns a pain in the butt. Okay. So, anyway, kill a bunch of them, get a bunch of slime, and then you can craft some torches. Yeah. Dang gum, it, come on. Fly, fly, boom. Okay, so anyway, come back over here. And you do not need a workbench to make torches. You can make them anytime you want. So anyway, just click on a few, make a few, and they'll pop up in your inventory as usual. Um, go to it, use your crosshairs, and place them on the back wall. And basically you need enough light for the house to be valid. So you want to check if your house is valid, you come to the menu, from inventory, go to the right to the house, and hit X, and it'll say this house is valid or this house is already occupied. And if you want to know who's in the room already, you hit Y, get off the menu, and you'll see the person's face on the background. So this apparently is Kevin's house, he already stole my house, because he's a bum and doesn't want to make it himself. So, anyway, this is Valid House. Now, Kevin is, real quick, is an NPC. You can press B when you're close to him and you see the bubble above their head. And each one of them does something different. He just helps you in crafting, teaches you how to do stuff and make stuff with what you got. Um, like, say, wood. He'll tell you everything you can make with wood. So, and other NPCs will sell you things and get you some good stuff so but we'll get into that another time but you have to make enough valid houses for everybody which I don't remember how many it is I think it might be 30 houses total you need or something like that 30 valid houses for all of them because each of them have to have their own house so but we'll get into that another time um, this is a valid house so at least you're safe from all the bad people and next time we'll get into Maybe a little exploring and making some better weapons and tools. So, until next time, see y'all later.